the rise and fall of the e-commerce giant eBay. In today's modern era, we can order and get the necessary goods from any corner of the world. eBay was once the dominant company in the e-commerce industry. It was created in 1995 by a 28-year-old Iranian-American engineer named Pierre Omidya. He graduated from Tufts University with a degree in computer science in 1988 and worked at Apple. Pierre decided to change the business relationship between traders and customers that was practiced till then and created a business platform in the style of customer-to-customer -customer on e-commerce platform. Subsequently, he joined General Magic in 1995. While working there, he developed a coding platform for his personal website. Back then most of the websites had bad designs. However, the e-commerce platform created by Pierre proved to be competitive in the market. Pierre first sold his broken laser product online for $4.83. Pierre named his site eBay because there was already a website called Echo Bay. Sharing biotech-related information on his site, he posted various stories about the Ebola virus. The readership for his site was also increasing. After that, he had to pay $250 per month to upgrade his website to cope with the internet traffic. However, Pierre received a 10% commission for auctioning items on eBay. Pierre resigned from his job at General Magic in 1996 and obtained a a license to sell airline tickets through his website. In that year alone, 2,50,000 items were auctioned. By June 1997, the number of auctions exceeded 8 million. After turning eBay into Silicon Valley, Pierre sold 22% of his company to Benchmark Capital for $4.5 million. Benchmark said it would offer eBay a top CEO in return. Accordingly, in 1998, Margaret Whiteman, who became famous in the business world, took over as CEO of eBay. He has experience working in corporations including Disney, B&G. Soon after he took office, he removed guns, drugs, and more from the list of auction items on eBay. Built an internet business in the best way. eBay went public in 1998. A share that debuted at $18 rose to $53 in one day. Over the next four months, the value per share increased to $300 eBay is valued at $7.2 billion. P.S. suddenly became rich. eBay started in 1999 with 30 employees, 500,000 users, and annual revenue of $5 million. We need to understand the difference between e-commerce companies like eBay and Amazon. Amazon is the best business website to buy everyday items like hardware, clothes, books, games, etc. In contrast, eBay is a site where historical and rare items are auctioned. A video of Marilyn Monroe smoking while watching a movie was auctioned for a huge sum. Angry Wife sells an expensive sports car for just £50. Meanwhile, a bread sandwich with the face of the Virgin Mary fetched $28,000. eBay bought 50 companies in a short period of time after Margaret Whiteman took over. PayPal in 2002, Skype in 2005 and the list of affiliates under eBay goes on. In 2008, when Margaret Whiteman was at the helm, eBay dominated the e-commerce scene. After resigning her position, Margaret took over as the governor of California. eBay, under the leadership of John, who took over after that, made $8 billion in annual revenue. But Amazon generated $19 billion in revenue during the same period. John's mismanagement led to the sale of Skype for $3 billion. But Microsoft bought Skype from another company for $8 billion. In 2014, Catty, an investor, separated PayPal from eBay. As a standalone company, eBay grew by 13.9%. At the same time, eBay was hit hard. Let's hope that eBay also recovers from the decline by understanding that the companies that change themselves with the times and take innovative initiatives are the ones that survive in the market.